Hi, Uche. So uh, you are talking about uh, wild at art, uh, the yes. uh, art workshop and tour operation. Yes, and uh, right. you are uh, located in uh, Scotland. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, your partner, uh, Janet. Hi. Hi, Janet. Are yes. you a partner or are you, are you um, one of the instructors? I am one of the instructors. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm what are you, Janet? Are you also I'm, in, I'm in Scotland? Scotland as well. Um, I'm in uh, Creef in Highland Perthshire. Okay. So, so uh, what time is it now over there? It's 11 o'clock at night. 11 at night. I'm sorry that I, uh, I'm i intruding your bedtime here. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's start with Ute. Why don't you just talk about your um, tour organization a little bit? Yes, uh, I'll be uh, very happy to. Yes, I'm um, Ute Armand Seidel. I'm the director and co-founder of Wilded Art. And Wilded Art uh, organizes small group uh, art experiences, art and crafts experiences all across Scotland. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also organize tailor-made experiences. And uh, so there's, we offer a different range of activities. So there's painting, drawing, stone carving, pottery, uh, um, jewelry making, photography. So there's a, it's ever growing the range of activities uh, we offer. Okay. And, um, yeah, so the, the most popular uh, activity is uh, painting, drawing and painting. So uh, Janet, she's one of our uh, amazing instructors. And okay. Will, uh, lead the um, Iona art experience and next year in May well it, it was supposed to happen uh, this year in May next month but because obviously of for obvious reasons uh, we had to reschedule and so I see. Had to, yeah, uh, I know. You know, and, uh, yeah but we're using the time to prepare it uh, really really well and we're actually uh, going uh, to Iona uh, next month just okay. for a little, uh, another preparation visit and um, yes I don't know uh, if you want me to tell you a bit about uh, the holiday we are focusing on today in this interview yeah okay yeah. so Okay, so uh, let's just talk about uh, the painting trip that uh, Janet is uh, hosting. So uh, why don't you tell me about uh, your painting? Uh, is that a workshop or uh, yeah. how, how does that work? It's, it's, a, it's a week long retreat, but uh, Janet can, can, you can tell you a bit more about the, uh, what the, the art element uh, will be. Will yeah, contain. sure. So um, I, I was asked by UT to be um, one of the course leaders on um, Wild Art Scotland. And um, um, Iona is an island that I've been visiting for many years. And I thought it would be a fantastic place for um, to, to take a group, um, a small group. And um, we have set up, Uti has set up a studio for us to work in, but um, my intention is to spend as much time as possible outside exploring the island and um, using um, some of the natural re resources there to make work from. Sure. Um, and, um, you know, these are some of the things that um, I've done in the past and that our intention is to um, take... Um, Concertina sketchbooks with us and okay. have make drawings, um, uh, a walk and drawing session every morning to start our day. Um, and we'll um, record some of the things that we see and hear. And um, the island is, is it's three miles um, uh, from north to south, so you can cover it quite quickly. Um, and get to know the place, it, at least on a superficial level, very quickly. It's got a beautiful little abbey. It's got a, a small chapel, it's an orange chapel. Um, it's just a magical environment. And 
artists, Scottish artists have been going there for a very long time. Um, and I think, you know, it, it's, it'll be extremely special for people. Um, it's got a long history. Uh, an island environment is very di different from working in a, a sort of mainland situation. You have a sense of uh, where you are within a place and um, it's, you know, the whole place sparkles. And even on a grey day, it's beautiful. I have work that I did um, on a March day. Um, and even the, you know, everything sort of blows. And, uh -huh. and the, you know, it's just a remarkable and uh, amazing place to, you know, to, to share. Yeah, that's uh, really nice. So what's the medium you used on that painting? Um, th th this, is, this is watercolor. Okay. Um, yeah, watercolor and paper and the group and um, we're going to take lots of different materials with us um, uh -huh. and um, as I said we've got a studio to, to work from but if the weather is kind to us then we can spend most of our time outside sure. on the beach <laughs> and, um, and, and just use what's there as well it's got an amazing geology um, yeah. and I think people might be interested in in, in sort of finding little landscapes in, in the stones and um, some of the, the, the materials that you find in the beach. Right. Um, and so, yeah. So, so you're uh, specialised in uh, watercolour? Yes, I'm a member of the Royal Society of Scottish Watercolourists. Where oh, I see. Um, our, our patron is uh, Prince Charles. <laughs> yeah. He's a keen watercolourist himself. And I would so you've been doing watercolor for a long time. Yes, yes, I have. I have. It's um, you... I, I love the immediacy of it. Um, I I make all sorts of different types of work. I spend a lot of time outdoors. I'm interested in in the natural environment. Um, uh huh. You know, and um, so yes, I've 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 been doing it for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah. So when did you uh first join uh with uh with uh, uh, the wild and art um uh the tour operation? How when did you uh first uh, start a class with them? Um I've known Uti for a few years. I'll let Uti explain our, our story. I see for a few yeah. years now. Yeah. <laughs> been building and preparing uh, this Iona uh, trip uh, together uh, for, yeah, uh, we started a couple of years ago and and uh, then COVID came along. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, we, we, we couldn't, it, it uh, hasn't been able to. Yeah, so you had to wait for a while. Yeah. 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 So yeah. when is the uh, upcoming workshop scheduled? When are the next one scheduled for? Well, uh, the, we are hoping uh, that the next, uh, uh, the first trips, the, the first post-COVID trips that can take place, hopefully late summer, you know, hopefully uh, late August and then uh, the September, in September, we've got, uh, well, August, we've got uh, the Lewis and Harris uh, painting holiday and then in uh, October, uh, no, September then, there will be uh, an Orkney watercolour experience. Uh -huh. and, uh, so hopefully from late summer. And then you the, mean this, this year? This year, hopefully. Yeah, and this year, okay. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the Iona art experience uh, in May next year, that will be the first of many, hopefully. Yeah, I see. <laughs> share my screen then i could show you some photos yeah sure that. yeah go ahead uh, share screen yes this is a stunning location it's uh, really amazing um, right. um, yeah. wow that's really nice oh it's, it's fantastic um, I've, I've actually drawn from from this little hill just above the hotel. And this is our hotel here, yeah. the St. Columba Hotel. It's it's owned by uh, local people. It's a very small island, as uh, Janet was saying. And so it's it's only got two hotels and we will be staying in this hotel, which is right next to, uh, to Iona Abbey. 
and this is one of the beaches. I mean, it really looks like in the Caribbean or somewhere uh, when the weather is yeah. like. That. But it's beautiful in any weather. It's the the, yeah. the colors constantly yeah. change, and the colors are really special, and the light and the the atmosphere. So there's another like it's to, you can see some other islands. Uh, yeah, but you can see Mal, and this is a, a little chapel here. St. Yeah, Orange. Uh, yes, it's a St. Orange uh, yeah. chapel. It's really, I think I've got, this one is inside the Abbey, inside Iona Abbey, and <laughs> Iona. <laughs> Great. Um, actually, I could maybe Oh yeah, I can hear the uh, sea, uh, ocean yeah. wave and stuff. Yeah. And this is where we will be taking the group to really like soak in nature and just enjoy. This is the ruins of an, uh, a nunnery. Mm -hmm. This is one of the high Celtic crosses. And this is the chapel we saw from the outside earlier. And some mm -hmm. local, <laughs> local. Oh yeah! Wow. <laughs> It's <laughs> <laughs> nice sandy beach. Yeah, if anyone wants to go wild swimming, and Scotland is very popular for, for wild swimming at any time of year as well. Yeah. And this is where you land uh, with the ferry. This is uh, where the ferry arrives. And oh, it's like, oh there's me. <laughs> yeah. And it's. Uh, Artwork uh, from Iona. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. It's such a stunning place. Yeah, so I'll stop um, sharing my screen. So. Very nice. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a very nice place to be. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so, um, uh, Ulte, how long you been uh, uh, operating this uh, workshop tour thing uh, in Scotland? Since uh, 2012, and so uh, it's almost nine years now. Um, I'm originally from the south of Germany, and uh, I moved to Scotland almost 24 years ago, and I've always been interested in creative things, and then when I came to Scotland, I took various art classes and took place in, took part in workshops and and uh, I was always amazed like how much there's going on. There's so many brilliant artists and galleries and exhibitions and so on and and the scenery is just like so so inspirational and and I realized that uh, Scotland wasn't known as a, a creative travel destination. You know, it's more like about yeah, like, right and whiskey and bagpipes and so on and, and so uh, I, I wanted to create opportunities for visitors to really connect with the location uh, yeah. and, and doing art and being creative is such a special way of connecting with the location and it's a, a slow and mindful way of traveling and you can really immerse yourself in, in yeah. that. I, I see. So uh, you said you also offer uh, other uh, mediums or other genres other than uh, painting too. So what else are you offering in your uh, tour guide? Oh, yes. Look, uh, and this uh, one whole area of uh, things is uh, textile. So uh -huh. that's activities all around textiles. So there's a weaving, spinning, knitting. Um, uh, then there's uh, or yarn dyeing as well. Then um, you yeah, offer stone carving because you can, there's a lot of uh, ancient carvings and, and right. some ancient curtains. So they, they are then the inspiration you know, to, for people to make their own stone sculptures. And yeah. That is possible on holiday, and we just ship the stone back to right. uh, this home address. And then, what else do we offer? Like silversmithing, so uh, making uh, silver jewelry, then uh, pottery, poetry, creative writing, even singing. Really? Wow. <laughs> yes, it is. And uh, writing? Do you do also writing class too? 
Yes, uh, we do creative writing as well. And there's uh, one actually in Ellen, uh, this little village where I live here and on the uh, Cowell Peninsula, uh, there's a, a couple, they are doing uh, poetry and uh, poetry workshops. So uh -huh. you write the words and then you uh, create poetry, you know, with words. Right. And, Actually, they gave me, uh, our friend gave me this as a present. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it's, it's really beautiful. It's a very special style. And yeah. Something uh, guests can do in a workshop as well. So this, like the possibilities are endless. Scotland has got so much to offer. Right. So Janet, are you, um, uh, are you born in Scotland? Yes, uh -huh. I, was, I was born in Edinburgh. And I oh, okay, you. so you're a native of uh, uh, Scotland, uh, yeah, am. Scottish. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> are you uh, are you close to uh, Sean Connery? <laughs> well, um, Sean Connery was uh, a model at the art college I went to. Oh, and really? I, yeah, yeah. He was uh, alas, he was a life model before I. I arrived at art college, but my oh. dad, who was a painter, he remembers seeing Sean Connery and, um, you know, oh. life modeling. <laughs> yeah, we all miss him, right? Well, I do. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, just a few months ago, he passed away, I guess, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've been watching all his movies. I mean, you know, <laughs> this is so, I mean, I, I love his accent, you know, the Scottish accent. And uh, he, I think he's the, the only true um, uh, 007, you know, James Bond. I mean, uh, the other guys are okay. They're, they're all wonderful, but uh, they can't really get to uh, Sean Connery's, you know, the original uh, character. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. So whenever I, somebody says about Scotland, uh, that's the first person I've been thinking, you know. <laughs> yeah, but so why don't you tell me about um, your country a little bit for the people who never been there before. So, like, uh, uh, what what would you um like to offer in your country when people uh, go there and you know meet you? I mean, other than painting uh, workshops uh, in yeah. general, what would you offer? Oh, do you want? Is this directed to me or to? Italy? Yeah, to. Uh, I'm asking you, Janet. Uh, yeah. Since you are a uh, Scottish uh, yeah. native, uh, um, what what Scotland has to offer to people coming there? Well, from my own point of view, um, as Uti said, the landscape, the landscape is really, really, uh -huh. beautiful, yeah. really interesting landscape, a very old landscape. Yeah. Um, and we, we, although we are not a big country by any means, it's as if things become condensed within it. And um, with, I mean, where I live, which is um, in the Highlands, uh, I can step out my door and be in a very wild environment. Uh -huh. um, um, and for me, that's very special. And the people, I think Scottish people are very um, sort of outgoing. Um, and we, you, you know, because of um, our environment, a, a lot of us have had to travel elsewhere, but there's always a kind of sense of coming home. Right. Um, we like our traditions. Uh, people will have heard about our Highland gatherings, um, this idea of uh, kingship, clans, that's important. Um, and, uh, well, I say unfortunately, but my family come from the Scottish borders. My name, Melrose, is a, a, a borders name. So although I live up in the Highlands and I have friends who are called Maclean and Mackay, and, and they, they, they're they part of that clan tradition. I, I don't have a clan tr tradition as such. Oh, um, okay. Um, yeah, um, but yeah, and, and also the, the our history, um, it goes way back, which he said to uh, sort of prehistoric times, we have, we have people um, traveling across this land and around it, and also we have a connection with what was going on in Europe. Right. Um, we have um, fantastic archaeology, um, which yeah. really interests me. 
uh, right. buildings that we have. But I mean, we uh, the building that I live live in is an old mill building. Uh, I have a there's a cottage up the road that dates back to the 1400s. So we have we have a depth, a real depth of time. Um, yeah. And I think people enjoy that. The yeah. idea that you're in a place where uh, that's been inhabited for a long, long time. Um, right. Yeah. It's I have that American that friends and they like that. <laughs> uh -huh. that history, Scotland. Yeah. Has yeah. And there's so many I mean, people really enjoy the, the the stories, you know, when, when visitors come and there's yeah. there are so many stories to tell. There's such a a lot of uh, yeah history and traditions like the yeah uh, yeah Celtic uh, tradition Celtic yeah. right yeah, yeah. a lot of excellent first class museums mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. yeah yes. yeah uh, yeah, yeah I'm sure the people would love to go there and enjoy your cult culture over there too yeah do you play uh bagpipe too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't play the back. You don't? <laughs> my, daughter, my daughter played uh, something called the chanter. Uh, uh -huh. the, the children at school uh, will learn the chanter, but no, I've never, I've never played the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not fiddle music or something. Yeah, <laughs> I see. So, Ute, uh, so do you like, uh, I mean, of course you like a Scottish culture, right? So, so you decide to uh, stay in Scotland for, for a long time? Yes, yes, this is my home now. I'm just in love with Scotland. I, That's I, your second home now. And uh, yes, I, I still have uh, loads of uh, family and friends in Germany, but I, this is my home and I, right. I travel again they will all come and visit and uh, yeah just uh yeah i'm totally in love with this country sure yeah so you you go visit germany sometimes um yes i sometimes go and visit yeah. this, but okay. uh, so people love to come and visit me <laughs> yeah right yeah enjoy the uh, nature over there yeah i mean just those pictures that you show me, those are just uh, so uh, natural, you know, very hard to see these places these days, you know, a lot of people, yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of places are, uh, you know, commercialized, but I see the skull and they uh, preserved a lot of uh, lands and uh, wildlife. Yeah, that's a good thing. And, yeah. Um, actually find real wilderness and that's uh -huh. some I, I missed when I lived in Germany and you you can really uh, you can go to you don't have to drive far and then you can, yeah. can be in a really remote place yeah you, know, you can see don't see any house for ages and right just, just the hills or the beach yeah that's real wilderness and yeah you know, I know fresh yeah. air you know the air is a fresh <laughs> and uh the water and everything is just yeah. uh, so pure, I guess. It's great, yeah. So I'm sure a lot of people want to go there once they uh, get free from the, this uh, yeah. pandemic thing. Um, yeah, hopefully hopefully this summer, right? Yeah, so we're all crossing our fingers. Uh, yeah, so. To find wild and art, workshops, especially uh, Janet's watercolor workshop, go to the workshop finder, workshop-finder.com. Here is the workshop finder. Go to art workshops. And here is art workshops page. around listings and you go all the way down to May 2022. So here's May 2022. 
and uh, fabric of an island, drawing and painting on the Isle of Iona, hosted by Wild Dead Art Scotland. Let's click the more info. Then you go to the Wild Dead Art website. Iona Art Experience, May 2022. <laughs> Six through thirteenth May, twenty twenty two. Tutor Janet Mallows. Uh, 